All right, without further ado, please help me give it up for Matt with Kuvansky. <laughs> All right, well, hey, thanks for coming, guys, uh, for One Million Cups, for the vault for work and space, and everybody coming here. Um, it's an awesome opportunity to be able to present wherever I'm at or whoever's on our team. So thanks so much for coming. Um, so quickly, let's get into it, because I only have six minutes. So what is Freelance Kit? Freelance Kit is business templates for creative freelancers. So um, I'd like to see a raise of hands. How many people are actually creative here? That's a good number, good number. Usually, when I give this talk, there's probably about maybe two people in the audience, five people, I don't know, about 5% ratio, um, because obviously there's a lot of startups, there's a lot of business people, which is great. Um, but we really niche down on who, who we're serving in our product. So, um, glad to see there's a lot of creatives here, that's awesome. Um, so we are business templates for you, creative freelancers, so if you're a photographer, if you're a designer, or you're a filmmaker, that's who we look for. Um, you can use these templates if you're in a different market, but this is where we niche. Um, if you've ever talked to or listened to the podcast Entrepreneurs on Fire, John Lee Dumas, he talks about going one inch wide and one mile deep. Um, instead of going one mile wide and one inch deep. Uh, really focusing on that niche. Um, so I told you the why. What's the why? Um, why, did, why did we create these? So I started my video production company 14 years ago. Um, and over the years, I was using these resources that I had. I, was, I had a process in place for my, my production company. And I started seeing other freelancers that I knew, photographers, filmmakers, close their doors after three to four years. Why was that? You know, it was really when it's like, you know, they're awesome photographers. They're great at making videos. Why are they closing their doors? Well, it was because they did not know how to run a business. And so I said, okay. Something, something's going right here, what I'm doing. I'm, I'm able to support myself. I'm getting bigger clients. We're doing more work. Something's going on. There's something here. So, a uh, year and a half ago, uh, I had this bright idea when I was running on the treadmill in the gym. You know how that happens. You know, you're, you're getting in your thought process and you just creative ideas popping. You're like, heck, I'm stuck. So, I you know, stopped doing the treadmill. I couldn't probably think of it. Like, That's crazy. What's he doing? You know? And uh, so I started putting on, down all these notes and that's where Freelance Kit came out of. Um, so we have anything from, uh, you know, the typical invoice estimate. We're not competing with FreshBooks or QuickBooks, that kind of thing. But the, the real meat to, to the product that we have in these kits um, is, you know, for example, a product proposal. So in my business, when I had a client come to me and say, hey, we want these three videos done, that's great, okay. But I'm gonna put together a professional PDF that not only has those three videos, with descriptions, with thumbnails, with links to what I think their commercial should look like, what I think their product video should look like. But I'm going to give them ballpark figures for those for those videos, but I'm also going to throw in two or three more other videos that I think from doing my research on their business that they need this for their marketing aspect. From there, I also have, um, okay, are we going to do limit use? For this, we're going to do unlimited use. So it has a complete breakdown. So when you come to a client, you don't just throw them an email with information. I did that when I first started out, and that was terrible. You know, a lot of stuff I've learned from experiencing, from working with my business, that this is how you do it, this is how you pitch to your clients uh, to show them visually, here's what I'm thinking of here. Uh, so we have that, we have schedules. So if you contact a client, people all the time get busy with emails. You, know, you get 50 emails a day. I bet you guys get are spammed all the time. One email does, does not do anything. You have to go back and talk to that. You have to reach out to them. You have to find where do they hang out, where are they. And so we have a, a, a prospect client schedule where you put in when you first contact them, and it prorates out when you should talk to them again, when you should reach out to them. Um, what else do we have? We also have depiction releases, location releases. If you're a photographer or a filmmaker, you need to have those signed off if you're going to be filming or taking photos somewhere. We have contracts. We have limit use and unlimited use contracts. We have uh, other legal agreements, you know, limit license agreements, um, just, you know, one-time use. Uh, we have, what else? We have subcontractor uh, contracts. So obviously my business, my video business, 
Um, I hire a lot of subcontractors. That's the way to do it in the film industry. Um, and so you want to make sure that you have a contractor in place that, that legally binds that, hey, you're, you're taking care of your own taxes and you're also taking care of your own insurance. Things like that. Things that are important that you must have in your business. Um, so with that, and, and, and also keep in mind that these, these contracts are not, oh, hey, Matt Blick just set them up and he just threw them on there and helps people out. No, no, no. Um, I hired my own lawyer, and he went through all my contracts that I had and all the paperwork uh, to prove them, so they're approved by my lawyer in Illinois. Uh, and then I said, okay, we're doing freelance kit. We need to adjust these for those different, those different niches that we're in. And he said, okay, so we went through that. So when you buy these, if, if you are that, that lone freelancer, sole freelancer, small, small business startup, uh, you'll have these resources that are tailored towards you. We're not going after a company that's 10 to 15 to 20 people. You've got that all taken care of. You're, you're good, you're cool. This is for people that are, you know, a photographer that's doing wedding, you know, photography, or that's doing commercial photography, but they're by themselves. This is, you know, a, a filmmaking company that has maybe one or two, maybe three people, that sort of thing. Um, so that's that's who our market is. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it's the the what we strive to do with these kits, with freelance kit, is take your business to the next level. In what you're doing, a lot of freelancers. What they do is they think, oh, I'll just cut and paste everything. You know, when I started out 14 years ago, like, oh, I like that paragraph in that contract. I'll, I'll sit that in there. I had, you know, my web designer said, you know, here, can you sign my contract? It's like, sure. Like, cool. Oh, I, I like what you did there. I'm going to take that and put this in my contract. Well, that's not going to hold up in court. And so, <laughs> so you know, that, that's where I came from. That's what freelancers do. That's what people, you know, I have a, a guy that I hired um, for my video business that said, hey, send me an invoice. And he's, you know, he's, he sent me an Excel spreadsheet. Like, well, no wonder clients aren't going to hire you. You know, if they see this, your brand isn't just your finished product. It's not your finished photo. It's not your finished video. It's what are you in every aspect of your business. So, what are your business cards like? How do you talk to people? What does your invoice look like? When you pitch ideas to people, do you go over the top? Do you show them that you are professional and worth paying for? It? Um, and so that's where Freelance Kit takes those creatives to the next level. It gives them a starting point, gives them a foundation to not just get by. It shows them and presents them to a client and says, hey, we're professional and we're worth working with. So that is Freelance Kit. Um, I'll open up to questions, uh, but quickly give you an overview of the price and uh, the screens at the club. Uh, so the kits are uh, 350 bucks for a kit. You get 25 resources, and then you also have options, three different options to buy a single resource, which is 25 bucks. So, anyways, questions? <laughs>